Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to estimate a nonlinear uh, nonlinear model with asymmetric parameters, asymmetric variables. Now, using that asymmetric variables for second generation panel ADL, ARDL models. So, two different ideas, and I'm going to embed them together into a same model. So, hopefully, in this video, we'll be learning these two things. Third, we will be making the ECM based. Uh, short run estimates so do do keep in mind that the by the end of the video you will be able to learn how to make an ecm model so first of all i will load the data this data has specific variables like gdp and some independent variables first of all i will i will declare data as xt set so this uh, this has this is strongly balanced data then there's data named ec so first of all i will change create a first difference form then say that if it is uh, decreasing then um, i will add decreasing uh, value it will become ec dc equal to ec if it, the decreasing term uh, the change is negative and then if the change is positive the other number comes on the other side so this way the seventh command is showing that if the change is negative then uh, it the value of ec will be stored in decreasing term and for the case of increasing it will be zero and, and then when it is positive it should be stored in increasing variable ec i and c and for the case of decreasing it should be zero so i have separated my ec variable into increasing form and decreasing form then i created a gdp first uh, log then i will estimate the mg model uh, uh, of xtmg with its metric variables so it is showing insignificant here then there is and also storing the residuals as mg underscore s then gdp this is the cc eng model with the uh, symmetric variables it is also insignificant here but when i run the amg augmented mean group model so it is showing significant so there is a slight difference between coefficients but both of them are coming in same confidence interval so we can assume that there is no asymmetry you can also check it using test so when you write the command test ec inc equal to ec dec it will check for their equality so it is insignificant means they are equal so there is technically no asymmetry in this model so you can for check for your own variables if there is a symmetry you can continue with this model now i will come, come towards its short run form so for that you need to create the the first difference form of all independent variables and lag of the residuals so i have generated these variables first difference of dependent and dependent first difference of de increasing term first difference of decreasing term first difference of control variable lags of residuals then for mg ecm I am running. I am running this, so it is insignificant. Means there is no co-integration in this specification. Then, if I run the another one, that is this one here, the negative and significant. So there is co-integration in this, and there is uh, significant uh, asymmetric variables in short run. So this is saying that uh, in, according to this model, there is a short run asymmetry. There might be but there is no long run so you can check it here again like test uh, dec inc equal to dec dec so it is insignificant so it means there is no significant short run asymmetry similarly if we go for the last model augmented in group it is negative significant and the short run are also significant so so there is short run short run is significant asymmetric effect significant asymmetric variables as well as long run ones as we saw in line 18 now we can check using the wall test this command that i'm using test is the type of wall test on the equation parameters dec inc equal to dec ec so when i run this so it is saying that the fade variable name not found so test dec inc equal to dec dec so it is insignificant so there is no short run asymmetry so it's not significant so this way you can estimate your uh, asymmetric effect second generation ardl models in stata hope you like this video do 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 subscribe and share to others so that they can understand how to use stata for advanced models